Okay, so this is going to be part two of our soul jam. Um, so, we got our beat. I'm noticing I'm seeing, see this 1.8, this red, this is not good. I click there to zero it back down, but it's told me that we've maxed out the board. So basically what I want to do, I can see the culprit as these two tracks. So I'm going to double click them and bring them down by about three decibels, which I'm seeing in this little window here. So negative 3.0 is what I'm going for. Much better, okay. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna add a couple more instruments. I'm gonna begin with the Rhodes, the Rhodes keyboard. I particularly like the one uh, that comes with contact. Um, and it's filed under vintage keyboards. Vintage keys, here we go. Yep, the Scarby Mark One, love it. Okay, so I like this keyboard because it, it tremolos back and forth from left to right, giving a really nice stereophonic chorus sound. Okay, so here we go, I'm gonna try to play my part here. Okay, not perfect, but let's keep going. Oh, that's good. It's trying to record my voice. Don't need to do that. Okay, I'm going to add now a uh, kind of a vintage string section. And uh, that's going to, I'm going to use a classic thing that I've got. I'm not sure if it comes with your logic, but it's, it's called a Mellotron. It's an old keyboard that um, was used on a lot of Beatles records and it's, it, it's made out of tape. It has tape loops inside it. So it's a very early version of sampling from the 70s. Um, let's see. It's down here, Vintage Mellotron. And I'm going to use three, three violins. Yeah, that's what they look like. They were heavy, they were expensive, and they broke down all the time. Um, So my goal here is to kind of imitate a string section. I'll have a do just one take. I guess I won't do one take. I'll do another take. <laughs> I was in the wrong octave. Again, not the greatest thing that's ever been improvised, but not the worst. So I'm going to turn this down. Yeah, okay. So last thing, I'm going to add a bass. And I'm a big fan of this Contact 5... Uh, Rickenbacker bass. It's it's a pretty fantastic audio library. And the palm muted is, if you know what that means, it's the player rests their right palm on the strings right down here at the bottom of the instrument and partially mutes them. So we get sort of this thick muffled sound. Kind of thing. All right, so let's, let's um, try to improvise a bass line here. Okay, here we go. Okay, kind of a couple of little extra notes in there that were not very musical, but hey. So. I can hear a little lateness there that would be a little sloppy in the studio, so I'm going to go in and edit that. Have a look. You can see they're all behind the beat. So when I'm editing in Funkland, I like to turn off this snap mode so that I can. No, I don't have to be on the beat exactly, 
but I can be kind of closer. I can be infinitely anywhere on the track. If snap is on, it's going to snap it to the nearest quantization value. So I like to turn that off for when I'm working on funky stuff like this. <laughs> Okay, it's real busy. There's a lot of notes being played here. And honestly, if I was producing this session, I would tell the keyboard player to redo his part. Um, I think I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to split this by hitting Apple T and just repeat this track. <laughs> That's better. Okay. 